ask credit by Lucky Guy 7. People who had a terrible time in their hometown or country and moved away, did you find happiness? What's your story? Dad died when I was 10 and raised by a stepmom who couldn't handle it. Started drinking and brought home a piece of shit boyfriend that made my life hell. At 18, I loaded up my car, drove to my high school graduation and never went back, except to empty it when she passed away. That 35 years ago, I'm old, and I'm married to a woman who saved me, three great kids, well, 95% of the time, and never been happier. I'm from Russia, left it at 21 for political reasons applied for master scholarships, got full scholarship to study in Europe. Life is not always easy, especially with a small support network in the last two years I've been the support for my family who are stuck in Russia. Being far away from the family and not be able to regularly see them is hard, so I burn myself in work. I'm very well integrated, speak the language proficiently, can read books but it's not the same. But it still was the best decision ever. Right now I'm focusing on work and saving investing to get my mom out of Russia. I hope you make it. I grew up in Dublin and we had constant rob cars, mopeds with no mufflers, drugs everywhere, etc etc. Then I moved to the countryside and I don't remember ever seeing a junkie in no rob cars or dealers in 10 years. Not as different country but a different state. I grew up in the US Great Lakes area and I absolutely hated every minute of it. As soon as I graduated high school I immediately moved to Florida and haven't looked back. I've been here over 20 years. Personally it's had its ups and downs in my personal life but I don't regret it. In as much as Reddit land loves to give the sunshine state flack I like it here. It's warm and humid and I love that, I hate being cold. I could not have lasted staying where I grew up. I grew up in rural Alabama where I don't think I ever fit in. As I got older I was more ambitious than my peers. I went away to college and moved to Atlanta. I'm so happy here. I'm still close enough to visit my family regularly. I didn't have to learn to drive on snow or ice. And most of the people I meet are more accepting of me than I ever experienced in Alabama. I never call the place my hometown. But I moved from Alaska which had a wonderfully diverse population where I was at, to a racist whiter than sour cream small farm town in the Midwest. Being a half-breed POC there in the 80s wasn't a pleasant experience. When I graduated high school, I vanished from that town like a virgin on prom night. In that town, I stood out. I won't say race was a sole factor but for multiple reasons, I was an easy target to bully. I wanted to be anonymous and just be myself. I moved to the city and I was anonymous. It was beautiful. I ended up in the suburbs in the Midwest. Times have changed. Racism is around but it isn't accepted like it once was. Even the same town I used to live in has lots of people of color now, though I've seen posts from my classmates who say it's still racist like that's a shock. I still would to go back as I don't like small town politics. But yes, I found acceptance and with acceptance came happiness. I'm not the broken person I once was. Life is exciting and I welcome life every day and see most things as opportunities. I see beauty everywhere in the world around me now. Life is good. I absolutely hated my small town I grew up in. I had some good friends and all my family was in the area but I just wasn't happy. Nothing to do, everything closes at 9pm, it was quiet. I graduated high school and moved across the country as far away as I geographically could and was happy for a few years. I graduated college and moved about an hour away to be with a girl I had met. About 6 months later her and I broke up and I was absolutely miserable. For the first time in my life, I had nobody around. No friends. No family. I was all by myself in a different state. It was a college town and I couldn't go 15 feet in any direction without running into a bunch of happy-go-lucky kids hanging out with friends or their partners and having a good time. Only then did it hit me just how much my family and my childhood friends meant to me and I moved back a year later. Not to the same small town, 
but to the nearest bustling city about 30 minutes away. I hated going through it, but even to this day, 15 years after all this happened, I still am grateful every time I get to see my friends or my family because I remember all of the holidays, pool parties, and random bar nights I missed out on. I have MS and I grew up in El Paso, TX. It's a hot and desert end of Texas, and MS doesn't do well with heat. Eventually my family was able to move to WA and it's been so great with the weather and the better options for medical treatment. I'm so much happier and the legal weed is great. Yes the best times in my entire life have been when I've been out of my hometown, whether it was at uni, or working abroad, or establishing a career. When I go back to my hometown to visit friends and family, with those exceptions it feels like going back to the bottom of the well that I'd climbed out of years ago. It's the sort of place that makes me feel jaded even about developments that I hadn't seen before. It's like I'm irreparably burnt out with my hometown and its toxicity, even all these years later. Grew up in a pretty big city, but had a very abusive home life and was bullied throughout school. After high school moved to a small city with my best friend, we ended up forming a fringe up that will last for life and I found my boyfriend here too. She'll probably move back to our home city, I never will. I finally met people that made me feel like myself was good enough. I grew up in a small village in South Russia. Poor, stupid, aggressive bydlo, Russian redneck. Especially when you are smarter than them. You will be bullied if you disagree to drink vodka in 13, and prefer to play video games. Moreover my grandpa was a director in factory, but factory was closed because of economic crisis. And everyone thought that my grandpa stolen this factory and my family is extremely rich, that wasn't true. The teachers insulted me, Oni's biology teacher called me very offensive, how they call my grandpa, in front of my classmates. Fortunately, time has put everything in its place. I live in Moscow, I have a good salary, 10 times more than most of my classmates. One of my classmates went to jail other classmates have alcoholism at 28. And someone looks already at 45. When I became independent from my family and left my hometown to live in the city, my perspective changed. Before I felt limited and greedy. Now I am just realizing my dreams and ambitions without hurting anyone. Grew up in a relatively small town in Northern California. Didn't exactly have the best time in high school so after I got accepted to a college in Salt Lake City I decided to move there completely to kinda reboot myself socially, if that makes sense. Turns out in my 7 years of living here in SLC I would experience emotional trauma worse than anything I experienced in California and I honestly kinda want to move back home. Moved from Arizona to Washington State. I was much happier for a bit but the cost of living is weighing me down. Plus I moved here to be closer to family and my family doesn't really bother with me. I recently had a baby and only my aunt and cousin came by. The food here sucks too. I think any place can look ugly enough if you give it enough time. I don't know if it counts moving like 15 minutes away, but I lived in one town growing up, and it was horrible. Grew up dealing with DV, police coming over the domestic disputes, and dealing with the divorce. I met my partner in that town, and moved to his town, 15 minutes away. I still have a friend who lives in my hometown, who I visit. But yay I am happier, I don't live so close to my parents anymore, so it's not so bad. I can visit and leave whenever I want. Yes I did. I recommend resetting your life at least once in your life, it's like my fourth time. People don't realize how piss easy it is to make new connections, some deep some shallow, when you in town. And how freeing it is to realize that the only thing holding you back is yourself. Not gonna share my story though. Ups and downs like anyone else. But resetting is one of the best feeling I ever felt. Had a not great childhood in a medium large city in the midwest. Struggled in school and making friends so on. I didn't really fit in very well. 
found a career and it led me to leave there and move to the PNW. I'm a nurse and I was fortunate enough to begin travel nursing during the pandemic. Stopped doing that and found a decent permanent job. Much, much happier here. It would be fine with me if people I grew up with and most of my family thought I was dead if they even thought of me at all. My dad came with me so there's not a lot left for me back there. No it's not easy to find happiness when you are alone in another country and try to get over over traumas.